I'm joined now by Tom Truebridge, head of capital markets at PricewaterhouseCoopers. And he says the IPO market is set to recover this year. Tom, how can you be so confident about that? Well, probably the fourth quarter saw uh, the start of the reopening of the market after effectively being shut for a year. Five billion euros raised in Europe. Uh, compared with seven for the year as a whole, which is still a pretty modest figure. Uh, three sizable IPOs in uh, Warsaw and, and, and France. Um, but more importantly, it's really the pipeline that we're looking at at the moment, transactions we're working on, which will come to market uh, later on this, this quarter and indeed into the, you know, the first half of this year, which is exciting. Are those new transactions or are they ones taken out of the deep freeze of the recession years? A lot of them are new transactions. I mean, I would say that uh, there are quite a few private equity-backed companies that are looking to come to market, uh, mainly looking to deleverage because the bank financing market's dried up. Uh, they're cross-border energy companies, uh, oil and gas and mining. Uh, and, and finally, there'll be some further privatizations in places like Poland. So in addition to the oil and gas sector, which other sectors is, can you sense appetite and interest for new shares? Well, I think it's really sectors that have the characteristics of private equity companies, which are companies that uh, basically have good cash flow and profits, albeit that they're highly geared at the moment. So retail, for example, will be a sector that, uh, that we will see some activity in. The bankers I've been speaking to are telling me that if you want to stay ahead of the M&A rebound that is due this year, you really need to keep your eyes on the IPO market because what they call a dual track process will be in place for most companies wanting to sell assets. Do you agree with that? Well, it's certainly true that certainly for private equity companies, uh, I mean, when you announce an IPO, you're effectively announcing the company's up for sale. Uh, and generally what, what we see is the company prepares for both options. And if you're in the IPO process, which can take quite a long time, a buyer comes along with a good price, well, you know, the company's up for sale. So yes, I would agree with that. That sounds a bit like a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Is that something that, the situation that will continue throughout the year, or will that fade away as the economy continues? I think what, to what the deal track process provides is a, is a bit of pricing tension, because what we saw in the last quarter is, is institutional investors were certainly not overpaying, and generally deals were getting away at the bottom end of the price range. So if you can introduce a bit of price tension with an alternative option, i.e., a trade sale, uh, or something along those lines, then you may get the price up a bit. Do you think that pricing pressure will continue throughout the year into 2011, uh, or are you seeing that gap now? now? I, I think it will continue certainly through to the summer. Uh, I think it will then depend on what happens to markets more broadly and whether, you know, how quickly confidence returns to capital markets. Mm. Could, could we talk about the UK now? Is it a different environment with this pending election? Is there hesitancy to get involved in deals until we have some clarity on who's going to be in government? Well, London has traditionally been um, a centre for both domestic IPAs but also, importantly, international IPAs, and I think we see that continuing during this year. Uh, there's no doubt, though, that an, that an election brings some uncertainty to markets. So we may see a, a, a period, a brief, briefish period, uh, when the markets uh, make it difficult to price, depending, of course, on, on what happens with the election. But London will remain the centre for, for finance and it will draw attention for... I think London will remain the international market for Europe for the time being. There isn't much sign of a major challenge to that at the moment. Uh, that... The challenge of its coming is from other parts of the world. Is that because there are so many private equity firms here that they are in some way underpinning it's not UK. just private equity. It is partly private work. equity because a lot of the private equity firms are based here, although their investments will be across Europe. But it's also the investment banking community, the accountancy, the legal, the whole infrastructure, if you like, is based here in London. Tom, thank you very much for coming.